Okay. I'll say it one more time so everybody's kind of aware of what we're doing. Okay. I do a podcast. It's the first round table, visual and audio. You know, it's just a fun thing, and we're going to talk about everything under the sun. So if there's something you guys don't want to talk about on the podcast, I don't give a you're going to talk about it. <laughs> I hate you. Okay. So drink up. Let's go. Let's go. This is about to be good. Sit wherever you're comfortable. Where's the mic at? Me, me, me. Oh, jump test line. one, two. Test, test, test. Okay, you guys, so we're gonna jump right in. So I want to ask you guys some personal questions, okay? Mm -hmm. Coming from basketball, wives and women and so on. What is the most exciting thing being with a professional basketball player has been for you? Anybody, anybody? Anything. I can say the fact that they're in shape and the sex is the Bomb. Okay. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Until they're like, it's game day and they're like, my legs, my legs, my legs, I need my legs. Like, I need my legs, babe. I'm like, yeah. you got to your legs. Well, you got to. You got to. If you letting a sore leg ruin your good time, <laughs> you doing it all wrong, honey. What? So, oh, we get a little rapper. Nice. Hey. Jack, Are Jackie, you good? Yeah. I was just calling to see if anybody was on their way, but. I'm really not trying to get upset because there's so much positivity in the room right now. But I went out of my way and I invited all the ladies here tonight. And them not showing up to something I'm so passionate about, after I've really supported them in a lot that they do, it hurts. Whoever's Listen. supposed to be here is here. Yeah, exactly. This is a sisterhood. This is something that I really thought and wished that I could have with all the ladies, but we actually are living amongst these women. And it's just unfortunate that something so big and something so special, they would have to miss out on. I'm already questioning whether Evelyn and my friendship is genuine, and her no-show is just fueling those questions even more. After one, two, three mm -hmm. no-shows, it's like, no, you just don't want to come. We make time, right, right. okay, for what we want to do. And we come even though we don't want to be around right. certain yeah. people in the room, but we still come to support exactly. our sister. Exactly. So I, I personally see it as a great disrespect to not show up. Listen, as women, everybody's going to have issues, like, sometimes you know, it, it could be big, it could be minuscule, whatever the case is. However... Because there was a time when Cece couldn't perfect. stand you and you couldn't stand her. Right, Y'all was able to sit right, here at this round table. You really yeah, couldn't be it, around each other yeah. in the same room. Listen, Cece, you and I are, are building our friendship, but if you were doing something and I knew it was important to you or close to your heart, I would put that aside because I know how to be a bigger person. I, I prejudge you. You dumbest that's, that's what the it means, because it was laid out in layman's terms. Like, what, what was there to be confused okay, about? I'm dumb as I did push Kristen to show OG the text you sent about her, and it wasn't my place. I do apologize to you about that, and I want to take accountability for my actions and say I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not going to get melancholy, but that's the kind of thing I want to do on the Jackie Christie Project, is this type of thing. Seeing Cece and Jennifer, wow, these are two women that I adore. And seeing them to be able to come to common ground, it makes my heart swell. This is what I'm talking about. This is what the Jackie Christie Project is all about. We need to lift each other up and not tear each other down. So thank you guys for coming. This is the Jackie Christie Project. Hi, it's Jackie Christie from Basketball Wives. Subscribe to VH1's YouTube channel so you don't miss anything this season.